So in this example, if you need to solve for y, basically what we need to do is y equals. Does everybody agree? When it says solve for y, that's what we want. y equals. OK. Is y in the denominator of a fraction? Yeah. No. So we need to get rid of this y that's in the denominator, right? So what do we need to do to get rid of that y in the denominator? Multiply by y plus 5 on both sides. Whatever you do on one side, you have to do on the other side. Huh? What's y plus 5 divided by y? Oh, I'm sorry. What's y minus? Sorry. I think somebody said y plus 5. I don't know. <laughs> so y minus 5 divided by y minus 5 just gives you 1. So therefore, I'm left with y minus 5 times x equals y plus 2. Does everybody follow me so far? Now, when we're solving for y, is that y within the parentheses? Uh, no, no. no. So we can't solve for y when it's inside a parentheses. So how do we get rid of the parentheses? Well, we apply the operation that the parentheses is there for. And that parentheses is there for distributive property about the x. So I apply distributive property. So therefore, now I have yx minus 5x equals y plus 2. OK? Now, you guys notice is we have a y on the left side and we have a y on the right side. We can't solve for a y when we have a y on both sides, correct? So we need to get the y's to the same side. Doesn't matter if you want to get it to the left or to the right. Since I already kind of have this example up here, let's put the y on the left side. So to do that, I just go back to my algebra 1 inverse operations. Subtract the y on both sides, and then plus the 5x on both sides. By doing that, I now obtain yx minus y equals 2 plus 5x. Is everybody OK with what I have done so far? Yeah. All right. Now, we still need to solve for y. Y is not by itself. Now we have two y's. Yes? Right. yx minus y. Negative 5x plus 5x is 0. y minus y is 0. What's your question? What? Right, yx minus y. Yeah, I know, but yeah, we were saying that yx is like one variable at the moment. Yx is one term, yes, or it's one expression, yes. What's your question, though, Paul? OK. So it's yx minus y. Now the problem with this is we can't subtract y from yx. Why? Because they're not like terms. 1 has an x multiplied by it. 1 does not have an x multiplied by it. So Adina, you cannot subtract y, y from yx. So well, we don't, I mean, if you divide by x, you have to divide everything by x. That's just going to make things more complicated. So what we learned is um, a lot of times when we had more than one variable, if it was quadratic, like one was squared, one was not, we couldn't combine them. But we did quadratic factoring. We set it equal to 0, and we factored it. Well, in this case, we don't, need, we don't want to do that. But we can realize that, oh, well, if I can't combine these, I could factor out the y. So if you factor out the y, you're now left with an x minus 1. Do you, does everybody agree if I multiply the y back, I get yx minus y? Okay. Now, to get y by itself, my y currently is being multiplied by an x minus 1. So to undo multiplying by x minus 1, you have to divide by x minus 1. Don't you guys love your algebra skills? So therefore, the final answer, y equals 2x, oh, I'm sorry, no. 2 plus 5x divided by x minus 1. Done. That's the answer. Right.